Hey folks, this is Vagrant. Welcome back to Dragon Age Origins. In the last video, we went through the land's meet. We have successfully put Anora on the throne and kept Alistair with us, hopefully forever and ever, because he's a good boy. Uh, we talked to Leliana and finally got some hint as to her mission. We're going to chat to her again and hopefully we're going to pick up Leliana's personal quest. And then we're going to chat to Sten a little bit and a few of the others and try to find their personal missions as well. I was just thinking about what happened to the elves, and I am reminded of a song sung to me many years ago. It was when my mother died, and this wise elven woman comforted me and told me that we shouldn't fear death or hate it. Death is just another beginning. One day, we must all shed our earthly bodies to allow our spirits to fly free. Sure. It's a beautiful sentiment, I think. One that brings peace and hope to the grieving. Oh, <laughs> just walking away from the like I'm done now. Conversation over. And it just ends. <laughs> that was both beautiful and awkward in equal measure, I would suggest. I'm here for you. Let's chat. Of course. Uh, mm. Mm, I have not given this a lot of thought. What will I do? We've traveled far and wide. Does it need to end? Uh, wonderful to hear you say that. There's so much out there. Adventures to be had and stories to be told. I want to be part of it all. I might need some company. <laughs> and you're not too irritating. You're welcome to come along if you like. Try and stop me. It is settled then. You and I wandering the world, seeking our fortunes. I can't wait. Okay, did I pick up her mission or what's going on here? No. Is it going to be another case where I need to like leave and come back maybe? <clears throat> Uh, all right. Well, let's, let's see what we can do with the others. Sten, my friend, sort of. <laughs> Wait, where's where's um? Oh, it's in premium content, isn't it? Golem's memory. So that's Shales, but it's obviously separate. 
It really annoys me that we've got this mission here that we can never, ever do. I know I've talked about that before, but it still annoys me to this day, and it will continue to annoy me. Before we talk to Thingy, let's um, sort out our gear. So we're going to put Fangin over the Crow Dagger, I believe is the idea. Yep. And um, we're going to give the bowl of the Golden Sun maybe to Leliana if it's an upgrade. Uh, plus four attack. Oh, maybe not, actually. Oh, maybe I'll use it then. I'll just use it myself. Always handy to have a, uh, a bow around just in case. And it is... Wait, it's worse. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Okay, I'm going to use... I'm, I'm going to use this. I'm going to give this one to Leliana. Leliana is my archer. She should have the best bow. Oh, she can't use it, though. Oh, Leliana. Well, we need to level up her dexterity. Like, inevitably, she's got a few levels banked, right? So, we can level up her dexterity and I'll, I'll sort it. And, and you can use it for now. But you can just keep using it, I don't care. Yeah, that's fine. Enchantment. Enchantment? <laughs> yes, buddy. Enchantment! <laughs> okay, so we replaced... Uh... Crow Dagger. No. What's the dagger I was using? I'm confused. Oh, it's down here. Yeah, it was Crow Dagger. Okay, let's take these out. I forgot. Enchantment? Yes, buddy. Enchantment! <laughs> Thank you, buddy. <laughs> so that's Duncan's dagger, and then we've got Fang. And we want... Uh, Expert Paralyze. I don't really want the others. I, I, I think we just throw the spell resistance. These are, these are nothing, you know? So I think we just throw the spell resistance on. Uh, actually, I'll keep one off for... Um, I'm going to give Alistair. He's got one Paralysis. Yeah, but it's Novice, so we should swap that for that. Give him that and give him that. It makes more sense for Alistair to have the spell resistance than me, really. At least he's fully enchanted now, even if they're all... A a little bit rubbish. Anything on so I don't need that anymore, right? But I should give it to um I should give it to Zevran. Uh yeah, that's quite a big upgrade actually, as it happens. If there's anything I can do Enchantment. Enchantment. It's got a bloody thing in it. <laughs> Enchantment? I'm losing my mind. <laughs> I love him, but please. Uh, yeah, because everyone also doesn't have any equipped whatsoever, so let's just throw these in there. Why not? You and your friends are formidable. Okay. Goodbye. Done. Goodbye. <laughs> right. Let's talk to Sten and see if we can get some information and maybe get his uh, person. Wait, what is Sten's? Does he like me? Yeah, Sten no, right, we need to get Sten to like us. Let's buy some um, of those gifts that we can get. Are you sure I can't? Where are they? Meow. Uh, thoughtful gift. We just want to buy... Let's buy another, like... Uh, 15 of those. Why not? Let's make everyone like us a little bit more. Uh, Shale could go a little bit higher, maybe. I'm to keep this, am I? You are. Stan. Stan's really the only one who's love me. Thanks. You have my thanks. Love me, Stan. You have my thanks. Love me. Morgan could be a little bit higher. Interesting. Interesting. I just want to get rid of them now. Interesting. Um, and we do have some gifts. Duncan Shield. I'm going to give that to Alistair, obviously. Oh, this this shield. It's Duncan's, isn't it? That's his crest. I thought maybe you might want it. Thank you. Truly, I had no idea his shield wasn't with him. This is perfect. I don't know how to express my gratitude. This means a great deal to me. I thought it might. I'll treasure this. Thank you. You're welcome, buddy. Yeah. We don't do that because we gain anything from it, because we don't gain anything from it. It's just, it's just a nice thing to do, you know? Nothing wrong with just being nice. <laughs> uh, we do have a couple of gifts, so may as well get rid of them. Spirit, no, medium gold bar. Morgan. Interesting. So I mean, I just want to get them out of my inventory. Liliana, I give all the Andraste's grace to Liliana. Oh, how dear of you! Thank you. Bone for the dog. Map of the Anderfells. Who is from the Anderfells? Isn't it? 
Is that from? How nice. I just don't want it to be negative. That's really all that matters. Um, I do actually need to sell a couple things. I better be 51 is pretty unacceptable. Are you sure I can't? It's a little bit too much. Okay, anything else I can kill? We don't need ice salves, we don't need nature salves, we don't need spirit bombs. I'm keeping fire ones just in case. Small claw trap. Eh. Glow trap. Eh. Chucking powder. Eh. <laughs> Grounding. Eh. Get rid of all these nonsense. Default venom. Eh. Death root extract, really. Eh. We can do better than that. Shot coming. Eh. <laughs> Get out of my inventory. We'll keep the emerald, because I think we can turn that in, but we can't turn those in. Okay, there we go. Faithfully, that's much better. Sten, finally, I promised. You are not quite as callow as I thought. That is unexpected. Wait, you thought I was callow? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I who freed you and have been nothing but pleasant, and you've been incredibly whatever. You sound surprised. You must have heard this before. Nope. You'll get over it. Eventually. <laughs> Why did I let you out of the cage again? I have wondered that myself. It is one of the many things I find puzzling about your behavior. Uh, do I want to know what the other things are? No, let's leave this discussion polite. <laughs> so why were you caged? I caged myself. A weak mind is a deadly foe, as you are no doubt aware. What happened? I thought you killed some farmers. I did. Why? Is it a human saying, no good deed goes unpunished? They saved my life. You... that's not an explanation. Did you think I could justify what I have done? I can't. I came to your lands with seven of the Beresad, my brothers, to seek answers about the Blight. We made our way across the Ferelden countryside without incident, seeing nothing of the threat we were sent to observe. Until the night we camped by Lake Callanhad. They came from everywhere. The earth beneath our feet, the air above us. Our own shadows harbored the dark spawn. I saw the last of the creatures cut down, too late. I fell. What happened to the others? I am told no others survived. Aww. I don't know how long I lay on the battlefield among the dead. Nor do I know how the farmers found me. I only know that when I woke I was no longer among my brothers. And my sword was gone from my hand. What did you do? I searched for it, and when that failed, I asked my rescuers what had become of it. And then... I killed them. With my bare hands. I did. I knew they didn't have the blade. They had no reason to lie to me. I panicked. Unthinking, I struck them down. You panicked over a lost blade? That sword was made for my hand alone. I have carried it from the day I was set into the Beresad. I was to die wielding it for my people. Even if I could cross Ferelden and Taventer, unarmed and alone, to bring my report to the Arashok, I would be slain on sight by the Antarm. They would know me as Solas, a deserter. No soldier would cast aside his blade while he drew breath. Well, I think I know what we're going to be doing. <laughs> Can we search for it? If I knew where to look, it would be in my hand now. Let's go to Kalanhad. Where did you find the Darkspawn? Near Lake Kalanhad. So let's go to Kalanhad. Perhaps those words are empty, but thank you all the same. So, he... It isn't justifiable what he did. You know, he, he killed innocent people who helped him, who saved him, because he panicked over his lost sword. It's more under... It's, it's kind of... Something can be understandable, but not justifiable, and I think that's really where Sten is living with that. Because I understand why he... If the sword is such a big deal, it's, it's, it's akin to part of yourself, essentially, and you lost it, and you thought maybe they're holding it back from you, like some part of you is saying that, you big angry barbarians then probably kicks out a little bit it goes a bit mad doesn't justify it of course as i say but it does explain it let's talk to win so we need to get win's quest and we need to get zevran's quest and then we need to come back again to try and get liliana's i don't know what's going on with liliana what's on your mind is there something we can do to cure you cure me what am i sick now in a sense even you know that you cannot cure the dead. And I'm not the only one dying. You are too. <laughs> I'm just more efficient about it. 
Ah, child, your concern is heartwarming. But death comes to everyone, and it is not something to fear. I'm sure her quest is going to be something about the spirit, but I'm not sure what at this point. People fear not death, but having life taken from them. Many waste the life given to them, occupying themselves with things that do not matter. When the end comes, they say they did not have time enough to spend with loved ones, to fulfill dreams, to go on adventures they only talked about. But why should you fear death if you are happy with the life you have led? If you can look back on everything and say, yes, I am content, it is enough. Really hitting me where it hurts, this one. <laughs> when I guess this is it. I guess there must be something she wishes she could do. I think I've led a good life, a full life, and I, for one, am not afraid of death, whatever it may bring. They say that when you die, your spirit travels through the Fade and returns to the Maker. And after that, we'll see, won't we? What's on your mind? Any regrets? I try not to dwell too much on the mistakes of my past, of which there are many. I would go quite mad if I did that. But I do have one regret. The greatest misstep of my life. Made even more grave because it had dire consequences for someone else. Here we go. Tell me, it might make you feel better. Years ago, I was assigned as mentor to a lad, Anaren. He was my first apprentice. Anaren was an elf, raised in one of the elven alienages. And he was very mistrustful of humans. Especially humans in authority. Um, I can see how this would be trouble. What Anaren needed was time. Time to get used to his new home. Time to emerge from his shell so we could build a rapport. I gave him no such time. I was young and arrogant. He is a mage, I thought. He needs to grow up and act like one. I expected too much from him, too quickly. I gave no consideration to his origin or his feelings. And he retreated further from me. All I could think of was how stubborn he was, how he was throwing away all his talent and his potential, just to be difficult. Doesn't seem like you. Oh, age and wisdom have mellowed me. I was quite different back then. Much more unforgiving. You cannot plant crops in the cold, wintry ground. You cannot teach a student who is closed off and unresponsive. Patience is what is needed. And I learned that too late to help him. What happened to him? An errand ran away from the circle one night. I had berated him over some trivial, ridiculous matter that I no longer remember. I drove him away because of something utterly unimportant. He was a child, 14 at the time of his leaving. They had his phylactery, and they hunted him down. Who hunted him? But... The Templars. That is what they do. They hunt down and neutralize rogue mages. They called him Maleficar, a mage who practices forbidden magic, deserving of death. He was a child, misunderstood and lost. I begged the Templars to tell me if he suffered, if they gave him a quick death. I got no answers from them. I was his mentor, and they wouldn't even tell me what became of him. When is, like, the only character in the game who emotes at all? <laughs> that was cruel of them. I should have known better. I had the best mentors. They were kind, compassionate. Why didn't I learn from them? I failed an errand. All I had to do was listen to him. He would try to talk to me, and I would tell him to concentrate on his spells. He talked about the alienage sometimes. And the Dalish. He always talked about looking for the Dalish elves. Maybe he did find the Dalish. The Templars are well trained and thorough. That he still lives, it would be a vain hope. The apprentices that came after Aneran benefited greatly from the lessons I learned from him. In a sense, he was my teacher, and I his student. And there it is. My story... My one greatest regret. Okay. That is nearly all of them. Severin. 
I wonder if the dog gets... I'm sure the dog does not get a personal quest. <laughs> it's a bit of a shame, though. I did not thank you. It occurs to me now that you have freed me from the crows, and yet I did not think to thank you for it. No matter why you did it, it still it was done, and I the benefactor. So, thank you. Yeah, well, we're friends, Zevran. You say that so quickly, and yet it is an odd thing for me to hear. In the crows, we do not have friends, and yet here you are, and I cannot help but consider you such. Didn't you, co didn't you call the other crow a friend when we met him in the city, though? Not really friends, Zevran. <laughs> I consider you a friend as well. Then allow me to say this. What we are doing here, stopping the blight, I cannot think of anything I have ever done which is so worthy. I intend to see this through to the end with you. After all, someone must take responsibility for preventing your untimely death. A suitable task for a friend, yes? Yeah, it's an excellent plan. Oh, God, I'm tired. Now, isn't that <laughs> Just a year ago, Taliesin was telling me, Zevran, why are your plans always so horrid? Planning has never been my strong suit. Now, killing, killing and lovemaking, uh, killing and lovemaking and witty retorts, uh, those I am better at. I forget where I was going with this. Well, no matter. Never really been into lovemaking, inverted commas. I don't think I've ever said the words make love in an unironic sense, like as a meaningful let's make love kind of thing. It just, it just, it skews me out. It weirds me out. It's strange. There's something about it is just icky. I don't know. I can't, it's hard to describe. It gives me the ick, as they say these days. Your wish? To know what's going on. Whatever you'd like to ask. Uh... We're just going to go through them and see if anything happens. Why did you want to leave the crows, exactly? Well, now, I imagine that's a very fair question. Being an assassin, after all, is a, a living, at least as far as such things go. I was simply never given the opportunity to choose another way. So, if that choice presents itself, why should I not seize upon it? Fair enough. What would you rather do? Now that you mention it, I am not entirely certain. I was but a boy of seven when I was purchased, for three sovereigns, I'm told, which is a good price, considering I was all ribs and bone and didn't know the pommel of a dagger from the pointy end. The crows buy all their assassins that way, buy them young, raise them to know nothing else but murder, and if you do poorly in your training, you die. Sounds awful. Oh, I don't know about that. The crows who are actually good enough to survive come to enjoy some of the benefits. In Antiva, being a crow gets you respect, it gets you wealth, gets you women, and men, or whatever it is you might fancy. But that does not mean doing what is expected of you always. And it means being expendable. It's a cage, if a gilded cage. Pretty, but confining. I think I understand. As for what I'll do in the future, presuming that there is one, I truly can't imagine. It might be interesting to go into business for myself, for a change. Far away from Antiva, of course. For now, naturally, I go where you go. Um, uh, happy to have you along. And here I am, happy to be had. Isn't it wonderful how things work out that way? Come now, enough chit-chat. Talking about the crows summons them, you know. Any Antivan fishwife could tell you so. Your wish? Oh, this should be good. What would you like to discuss? Oh, just I want you to leave. <laughs> Your wish. Whatever you'd like to ask. Okay, do you actually enjoy being an assassin? This seems to be opening up new things. Maybe it's about finding out what Zevran is going to do post-assassin life. And why not? There are many things to enjoy about being a crow in Antiva. You're respected, you're feared. The authorities go out of their way to overlook your trespasses. Even the rewards are nothing to turn your nose up at. As for the killing part, well, some people simply need assassinating. Or do you disagree? Yeah, but I, I don't. I don't disagree technically. But the problem is when you're an assassin, you you just you're killing people for pay. You're not killing people for moral re for moral reasons. And and really, morality is 
subjective anyway, so that doesn't really work. But the point is, if I decide I dislike my neighbour because he plays music at seven in the morning and makes pancakes that smell good, but he won't give me any, <laughs> and I decide that's worthy of his death, you're going to do it if I pay you. And he does not deserve to die. You've never killed an innocent who made pancakes. Now there is an interesting word, innocent. How many men do you know who can claim to be truly innocent? But if you're talking generalities such as children and relatives and bystanders and such, never on purpose, but it happens. It's unfortunate, but death comes to us all. If not me, then some wasting disease, or a fall down the stairs, or at the hands of a darkspawn. It's all relative in the end. No, I don't buy that. That sounds like an excuse. Death happens, as we like to say. And when I get paid for it, death happens more often. As far as enjoying the act of killing itself, why not? There is a certain artistry to the deed. The pleasure of sinking your blade into their flesh and knowing that their life is in your hands. Mm, I kind of know what you mean. There are many things I did not enjoy about being a crow, of course. Having no choice, being treated as an expendable commodity, the rules, oh, so many rules. But simply being an assassin, I like it just fine. I will continue to do it if I can, even if I am not a crow. Honestly, could you picture me doing something else? Uh, do you have any skills? None that I wouldn't get into trouble for performing publicly. <laughs> of course, all these thoughts are moot. Chances are still good that you and I will perish, eaten by darkspawn or slain by the crows at some point. Very gruesomely, I imagine. But it is pleasant enough to chat about. Come, let's move on while our boots still have some wear in them. Your wish? Whatever you'd like to ask. Tell me about your adventures. My adventures? <laughs> I'm hardly an old man just returned from across the ocean, am I? Should I shake my fist at nearby children while I talk about the good old days? I mean, sure. You mean you want to hear about the grueling training? Being locked in an oubliette for weeks at a time? The slavery? The festering injuries? Or are we seeking something more glamorous? I feel like... <sighs> We've heard the same story about five times. Oh, those things never happened to me. Let's see, my second mission ever for the Crows was a bit intriguing. I was sent to kill a mage who had been meddling in politics. Oh. <laughs> I made a mistake, okay. Uh, second mission. Crows were willing to anger the Circle of Magi. In Antiva, nobody is too important to escape the reach of the Crows. They've killed kings and queens. That is simply how it is. As it turned out, the mage in question was quite a delightful young woman. Long, divine legs, as I recall. <laughs> I caught her in a carriage on her way to escape to the provinces. After I killed her guard, she got down on her hands and knees and begged for her life. Rather aptly, I might add. So I joined her in the carriage for the night and left the next morning. After killing her anyhow. Yes, but not on purpose, actually. The woman had actually convinced me to speak to the crows on her behalf. What can I say? I was young and foolish at the time. Then, as I was kissing her goodbye to return to Antiva City, she slipped on the threshold and fell backwards out of the carriage. Broke her neck. Shame, <laughs> really, but at least it happened quickly. <laughs> you upset? At first, yes. Well, not upset. Surprised is really a better word. Then I found out that she had told the driver to take her to Janellen instead. She had planned to lose me in the provinces. I would have looked very foolish to the crows. As it was, my master was very impressed that I had done such a fine job of making it look like an accident. The Circle of Magi was unaware of foul play, and everyone was happier all around. Except for the mage. I suppose, but she was dead. She didn't need to be happy. <laughs> it was after that when I learned that one needn't let a pretty face go to your head. Professionalism was key. That's my moral of the day, you see. A wise lesson. And one that not everyone learns, I'm sad to say. But that's enough tale spinning from me for the moment. Uh, talking about the mage has made me a bit nostalgic, I'm afraid. Ah, the good old days. So it turns out Zevran doesn't have a personal quest. It's that, you know, the lands meet stuff that happened. That is Zevran's personal quest. 
So we are gonna go. We are gonna take Shale. Yes. Yes, indeed. And we are gonna go to the Deep Roads. So I guess I have to go to Ozumar. I can't auto go. We're gonna get Shale's quest done. Um, then we're gonna do Stens, and then we're gonna do Wins, and then we're gonna try to get Leliana's, and then that'll be all of them. And then we're gonna do Leliana's Song DLC. Then we're gonna do the main quest. Then we're gonna do Awakening. <laughs> and then we're gonna do Golems of Agmar. Then we're gonna do Witch Hunt, and then we're done. <laughs> Easy peasy. It's a big ass game, this, I'm telling you. Uh, it's that way, right? Yeah. Um. I mean. It's a real thing, not just that people, assassins, <laughs> don't want to kill the pretty people, but in so much in that, like, pretty privilege is a very real thing. You're going to let me pass, right? Um, it, it's, it's a fact that classically attractive people, inverted commas, much like myself, <laughs> scratch the last bit, no, but it is a fact that classically or stereotypically attractive people and taller people and all this kind of jazz, as long as you're not too tall, of course, um, well, that all kind of falls under attractive. Um, but they, they get higher paid jobs and stuff like that. They earn more relative to their skills and they earn more compared to other people in similar levels and stuff like that. It's kind of mad, but pretty privilege is a very real thing. The halo effect, is it? I can't remember if the halo effect is that or if it's something similar. I think it's the halo effect. Mm, this place is familiar. Hey, Shale. You remember something? I am not certain. There is a place cavern that is not far from here. I know where it is. I remember. We can go there if you like. Its offer is appreciated. I will mark the location on its map. If we can journey there soon, I am most curious as to what we will find. I'm also most curious. Okay, so we need to go back to the map, I guess. Yeah, we now have Kadash Taig. Shale has dim memories of a bustling dwarven... T is it Taig or Taig? They keep saying it, I keep forgetting. Nestled somewhere amongst the deep roads. Alright, let's check it out. Cool. Little bonus quests. Just get to know our people a little bit. That's really the main part of this for me. It's just, just get to know our companions a little bit more before the end. Especially because some of them... I don't know who. I don't know if Shale is in Dragon Age 2 or Inquisition or Veilguard or whatever. But some of these characters will be reappearing throughout several games. So it's cool to explore with them, I think. Get to know them as much as we can. I've grown very, very attached to this cast. Uh, we'll rank them in a bit. I'd be curious, I'm, I'm, I'm curious as to where I'll lean on that, you know. Oh wait, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> you know, how would I rank the cast in terms of how much I like them all? He's a weak aren't they? Are they weak or am I just a monster? 68 damage. What the hell? I'm an absolute monster. <laughs> I am an absolute monster. That that second assassination thing that we picked up that added more cunning damage. Oh boy. It has made me hit like a trot. It's worth about 15 damage. And considering we hit so often, 15 damage is a huge amount. Anyways, I, am, I, also, I also haven't done these as far as I remember, so it's quite exciting for me to experience something brand new. Where are we after Shale? Let's find out what's going on here. Are we going to find out... Hopefully we're going to find out who Shale used to be. Who was Shale in their, their human form? I'll get on it. Oh, this is nice. Oh, this is very different as well. This is it. Kadash Taig. Taig. Taig, Taig, Taig. That means Taig. Good. That makes sense. Uh, we should be careful. These ruins are always overrun by vermin. There may be something noteworthy further in, however. Was this the home once? Oh. Did I live here? <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, Shale. Um, let's get your strength up. Do you need cunning for anything? Uh, not really. 42 strength seems to be like the cutoff point for people. Um, oh, you do need dexterity for some higher level things, so... I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna boost up dexterity to 18. 
Okay, killing blow. Let's get Shale's abilities. Killing blow. And Irvin Let's just get all these. All the Shale stuff. And then we'll pick up some warrior stuff as well. Because it makes sense that Shale doesn't have a subclass per se. She's very unique at the end of the day, right? My backstabbing and critting and stuff like that becomes more important with every thing because my regular abilities are fine, but so much of my damage now is 50, 62. That's crazy damage. Oh, I hit for about 40. I mean, I hit pretty hard even not on a backstab. I'm hitting for like mid 30s. Well, I think that's a crit, yeah. A non crit, I hit for 29. Approximately. 30. Oh yeah. This is cool. It's nice to be somewhere in the deep rows that has such a completely different aesthetic. Now better than later. Get some health pool to sit. Loads of Oh my god, this place is a this is great. <laughs> Let's never leave. Let's just stay here and farm health poultices. Also, did I level up way more than everyone else? Yeah, I thought so. Like I'm halfway through this level and they're not even the same level. Because we got a lot of XP um, on our own, I think, completing, you know, the lands meet quests and stuff like that. I don't think anyone else got experience for that. I think it was just me. Little old me. What's this? Strange crystal cluster. Small, brilliant fire crystal. Okay. 38 strength for that. Um, I mean, it's 30. It's, it's great, yeah. Also, Shale's really easy to gear up. Shale's actually pretty awesome. <laughs> um, limited skills, which is actually really useful. You don't really have to think. You just get everything. Now really easy to gear up. You only need two things. Really adaptable as well, you know. What I'd like is a small ice crystal, maybe. I think if we're... I don't think we're going to use Shale against a dragon, but it's good to know, guys. have been stunned for a gajillion years. Get in there, Shale. Shell just charging in like a maniac. I'm taunting. I'm just tanking everyone. And that's a paralysis room. Just paralyzed for half an hour. Shale's kind of a beast. <laughs> <laughs> Unironically, Shale, kind of a beast. Like, if I had played this game recently, or let's say we were doing a second playthrough, maybe, like, if I'd played this game when I first started the channel, right? And then I decided, we're going to play it again, because I want to play through all the games. And so I was playing a different class, and I was playing things completely differently. I'd definitely bring Shale along. It's just the game feels built around Alistair and Morrigan in particular, those two are thematically, or story-wise at least, the most important characters in the game. I know Morrigan hasn't been yet, but Morrigan is very important to the wider story, from what I remember. Win a little bit less so, but you need a healer. So, Blood Gorge Amulet. 12 Constitution, mine. That's... Oh, <laughs> not for... You know what? Actually, actually, I mean... No, I need... I can't, I can't lose two strength, annoyingly. Um... It's not terrible for Morrigan, though. Uh, I don't know. That's interesting. I might. I, do I want to throw that on Alistair? I think I'd maybe not be able to equip all It's just interesting. I'm worried because the strength breakpoints are very close. As in, if I lose, like, a little bit of strength, I think I probably can't equip certain gear that I've got. And I think that probably goes for basically every character. Shale, be careful. Squish!
There's a whole lot of enemies. Um, I still want to get bloody shapeshifter. How do I not have shapeshifter? Uh, maybe I'll talk to Morrigan. I think Morrigan will be able to give it to us. I'm going to keep ramping up her constitution, I think. I'm going to try to get it to about 20, just so she feels a little bit safer. Um, and I was leveling. I've done that now, so maybe we'll go back and level up, uh, start leveling up Frost. Even just Winter's Grisp, Grasp is, um, Winter's Grisp? Winter's Grasp is a pretty, pretty great spell. Can I get you a ladder so you can get off my back? <laughs> ah, God, a pain. Got it. Got it. Do-do, do-do-do. Do-do. Do, do, do. Actually, good thing about having tons of gold, I've just realized. So, of course, it means we can support the um, soldiers. I'm really curious as to how much that matters. Does it just make them stronger? Does it mean more people will survive? Like, if it's just going to make the final battle easier, I don't even necessarily care about it, because I think I can probably pull it off anyway. Because I always... Even if it's completely nonsense, I will always back myself, <laughs> even if it's got no basis in reality like whatsoever. But um, if it's going to keep more people alive... And, Give us like a better ending in that regard, then I definitely want to try to can I get you a ladder to, so you can to get buff them all up, you know? This is a very cool area. It does feel like a little abandoned dwarven city. The deep the dark spawn and the deep stalkers rage a war. I'm surprised the deep stalkers don't have like a Whoa. <laughs> don't have like a bigger version. It feels like they're babies and that they would have like a an adult somewhere. I'm surprised there hasn't been, you know, there's an alpha and there's like a matriarch stuff, but they're all tiny. It's weird little worm-headed dinosaurs, basically. I want to fight like a giant one, you know? The, um, the paralyze definitely doesn't happen as often as I would like, so considering I've got a back. grandmaster and an expert rune. Oh, well, I mean, it happened instantly as soon as I said that, of course. Oh! What was that? It's a 64! What's that red damage? Was that like a... a backstab trail? I don't know what that was. You can see there's a little bit... I, I want to keep an eye out for the bleed damage this time. I think there's like a little red tick. But actually, this is interesting because in theory, if there's tons of enemies, the logical thing for my character to do is actually to run around and stab everyone once, right? Kind of like rack up some um, bleed damage. Let me just try this. They're ticking, but they're ticking for one. <laughs> I'm not sure that was actually that helpful. Let's see I'd have a full explore down here with nothing here. Kadash Taig. Very cool. Crawling with filth. Typical. <laughs> that rogue appeared and got instantly stunned. Maybe the red is the bleed damage, but it doesn't happen very often. I don't think it is. Oh, it's there. It's probably doing damage. I do, I, I, like, I do make the enemy tick for a single damage. I don't know if that's something else I'm doing, or if that is the bleed. There's red damage every now and again, which probably is the bleed. But the bleed is a dot. The bleed happens over time, and the red damage hit for, like, 62, so that doesn't really make sense to me either. I have no idea. But you know what? As long as things keep dying when I hit them, it <laughs> doesn't really matter. I'm bleeding at the moment. What I need, and what the game should have, 
And I've just realized it's a bit silly, it doesn't. It should have like a target dummy. You know, it should have something I can go. Maybe it does somewhere, to be fair. Maybe in Soldier's Peak, if it's going to be anywhere. It should have like a thing I can go and hit and just try out different weapons and stuff like that, you know? But that's me again. My problem is that I, I love to min max, and I haven't really I've been resisting in this game because I kind of want the story to carry me through, and I just kind of want to. I don't want to look up too many things. I know we looked up a couple of quests last video, but they're all teeny tiny little baby quests. I just wanted to clear out. Um, but I really like to game my characters and make them as good as can possibly be. You know, I, I enjoy that. Some people find that like a really boring way to play, but okay, that's how I like to play. <laughs> and I've been resisting. To an extent, anyway. I mean, I've done it a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I knew coming in that Backstab Rogue was very, very strong. And, uh, has very much turned out to be the case. As you can see, <laughs> as I roam around and destroy every enemy almost single handed. Logain destroyed. So you can get off my back. Oh, we need to go kill the dragon as well. Completely forgot. I'm curious about that because we've got the fully upgraded, as far as I can tell, the fully upgraded Drake armor, right? Because <laughs> the guy has literally said, like, you're not allowed back. Please leave. He won't even sell me armor anymore. He's closed as a shop to me. I'm talking about Wade's Emporium in Denerim. what I hope to find here. We'll find you something, buddy. Don't you worry about it. Um, but if we kill a dragon, we're going to get more scales. So what do we do with them? This is very cool. They've really put a lot of effort into making this feel distinct from the rest of the deep roads. It feels very individual, which is nice. I guess they designed it as part of the DLC. You know, you wouldn't get access to this if you didn't have um, the stone, whatever the heck it's called. Cross me and you shall oh, pay! Right. <laughs> She protect Win, but she'll be okay. They clearly um spawn more of them as the ogre takes damage. So, actually just powering through and killing the ogre is, um... Okay, this is bullshit! I'm getting hit during the bloody, um... I'm getting hit during my ogre animation. It's kind of nonsense, don't you think? Right, win! There we go. Yeah, we should have just killed those. That was very silly. Kadash Stompers. Oh, hello. 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 Reduces hostility, increases hostility. Oh, never mind. <laughs> never mind. That suddenly became much less interesting. I, I just... Why would you want increased hostility on medium boots? What character is wearing that? Those make no sense whatsoever. I'll take the six and a half gold, though. We're up to 220. We're, we're absolutely loaded. We should really go and buy... Oh, I, oh Ice Crystal. Beautiful. That's exactly what I asked for. Um, we should really go buy... Um, so brilliant's like the best one, right? Yeah. We should really go and buy like all the expensive stuff we ever considered, because uh, I don't know what. I mean, we're gonna give a lot of money away, I suppose. Dead Tig Shanka is unfortunately low damage. Interrupt spellcasting though. That's interesting. That could be good. What is this? <laughs> Morgan just leveled up. <laughs> this, this I remember. Oh. It, it has dates and names. This is to honor those who volunteered, those who became golems. And there is my name. Shale of House Kadash. I recognize it. I was not created as I am now. I was once a creature of living flesh, a dwarf and a woman. This is a revelation. Uh, I hope it's what you were looking for. It is something. It is an answer. Though still I wish I had been able to speak with Caradin. I will need to think on these things I have learned. 
Perhaps I will speak to it of them soon. For now, let us carry on as we have. I am listening. Oh, okay. Cool. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm, I'm just curious about Master Shapeshifter. I just want to see her turn into like a, a bear. <laughs> you know, I just want to see her turn into a weird bear. Also, she's a shapeshifter. It feels silly to not like utilize her. I mean, we're never going to utilize it because she's built as a frost damage caster, but still. I just want to see her turn into a bear. <laughs> right. I guess we're done, right? We are indeed. We are indeed. Very cool. Okay. So, how are we doing on time? Ten whole minutes. Um. So, Sten and Win are the only two left, right? Am I crazy? I don't think I'm crazy. It's hard to say, really, isn't it? You never do know for sure. And if you don't think... I mean, nobody thinks they're crazy. Maybe some people do think they're crazy. I think if you think you're crazy, you're probably not crazy. I think crazy is a word that's a bit diminutive. It should be... Wacko. No. <laughs> I don't know. It's crazy... How does crazy... Uh, I don't know, right, we're getting way off topic here. Not that there ever is a topic, per se. But Shale, I'm glad we found out who you were. I can see you being a, a, a sassy female dwarf. It absolutely fits with what we know of Shale. It's interesting that she volunteered. I wonder if we find out any more information about that. Maybe when we go back to camp, having completed that quest, um, we get a bit more information. And given the time, actually, what Shale, we're going to... Why do you refer oh? to me as the Elder Mage? Clearly, because it is purple, and a hyena. Then you simply wish to be perverse? Surely you're better than that. I have found that I'm allowed precious few amusements. Since so many prefer to call me Gollum, I enjoy referring to them in a similar fashion. Oh, very well. But could you at least use a different adjective? I do not wish my age to be my defining characteristic. As the fussy mage desires. <laughs> Why give up? <laughs> oh, I kind of wish I'd brought Shale for every mission now. <laughs> She's so sassy. <laughs> and you can build her as a tank. She'd replace Alistair. This is the thing. This is like, I, I don't want to... It's tricky because I want to... I wanted Alistair and I wanted Morrigan and I needed Win. But... I don't know. Shale in particular, I wish I'd brought with me. I don't think I'd take anyone else. I think Shale... I think it would be this group that I've got now. It'd just be Alistair for Shale. But Alistair's great. Like, we, that's not... Let's not bemoan Alistair. Wait, what am I doing? Let's not bemoan Alistair just because we found something new and shiny and made of rock. The companion quests aren't particularly deep or anything. You know, I can't say that did much, but... It's a nice little bit of detail. We've got some loot. Uh, it's all rubbish, right? I think so. But we can sell all that. That's good money. Got some gems as well, which we'll go turn in. If there's anything I can do for you, there should be less. We've, we've had a lot of talking lately. Now I don't mind that at all, personally. But um, there should be less of it in the immediate. This seems really. Let me just check this. This seems really strong. The the natural crystal. Two constitution, four, oh yeah, large, brilliant. 50%, but I don't need, I don't, oh, but 25 physical resistance. But I need fire resistance, right? What about this? No, that's the same. But more tanky based, you can see it's got, it's got constitution, it's got health regen. That doesn't, oh, maybe, oh, interesting. <laughs> I'm just wondering if it's attached to the type. I guess it is. Or is it brilliant? Like, does clear offer different bonuses than brilliant, you know? Or is it attached to the elemental type? If there's anything I can do for Do you know what I'm saying? So, like, does all natural do all nature crystals have the same sort of stat types? Or is it large brilliant has this and large well we can check. Large brilliant Yeah. Spirit. No. Okay, so it's attached to um, 
you see that this large brilliant has completely different stats to this one. So clearly the stats, things like armor, constitution, stuff like that, they're tied to it being a nature crystal, which actually makes them much worse. <laughs> because it means if you want to build shale in a particular way, let's say doing a certain type of damage, but you want the stats from the other one, you just can't. Like some of them are clear. Let's say you wanted shale to be protected against fire, for example, like we do, but you want to build her as tanky as possible, but you can't because the fire crystal has attack stats on it, so does the ice crystal. You see what I mean? Well, I don't think it does, but that's the weapons. But anyway, I know I know what I mean. Morrigan, do you want to teach me to be a shapeshifter? No, do I really want to make Win a shapeshifter? I don't think... This is a problem with Win. Blood Mage makes no sense whatsoever. Shapeshifter, I would suggest, doesn't really make any sense. I think the only one that makes sense is the warrior one. Actually. And I think I'm going to not game the system. I think I'm going to give her the thing that makes most thematic sense for her character. Uh, turn in gems. Turn in gems. Turn in crafting materials. So just take everything from me. It's fine. I'm really curious what this is. I, I really hope this is helping in some way because... <laughs> Oh, I don't know. And I'm going to give you another 10 gold. There you go. Enjoy. I'm going to throw in like Everything brings us 80 or something at the end. Uh, right. Who do I need to talk to? I want to talk to Leliana. I'm here for you. Hmm. Of course. I'm confused. <laughs> um, I don't have a companion quest. Let's go. Let's go. Turn that in. I've had that for ages. It's annoying me. Yeah, I don't. I don't need access. I feel like I did. She talked about Marjolaine, which I think Indeed. was what we needed yes. to happen. Yes, yeah, she's still not doing it. I don't know. Maybe something will just happen as we're exploring the world. Maybe. Maybe I need to hear a certain tale from her or something like that. I'm gonna. I'm gonna check the wiki again because I, I kind of thought I'd already done this. Wait, why did I go like this? That was a very weird order. And um, we should have... Oh, no, wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Redcliffe, what's going on? Oh, no. It's... It's you. The Grey Warden. Andraste's mercy that you got here when you did. I thought for sure these monsters were going to get me. What's happened? They all fled to the castle this morning, before the Dark Swan arrived. I thought I could make it to my home and back before they got here. But it took me too long to get down here. What a relief you arrived. You should get the safety. I'm going to get out of here before any more of those things arrive. Thank you again. Oh no, I just realized I just realized the error of my ways. Um Ah <laughs> uh, yeah, obviously I should have come here before Oh I'm a dummy. Okay, so we can't maybe we can still do that other mission, but I don't think we this one here, I've lost in the castle, I wanted to turn that in. Um Obviously, that's, that's, that's become quite difficult because of the situation. So never mind. Um, right, we're going to end it there. Next video, we are going to do the Sword of the Beresard and Wind's Regret and try to get Leliana's. And then we'll do Leliana's DLC. And then we are rocking onto the final onslaught. Until then, thank you very much for joining me. I will see you lovely folks very, very soon. Cheers, oh, unless this is Friday. Very, very soon. Cheers much of as always. Bye-bye.